Hello, welcome back friends. In this video, I am going to do one example again on simplifying rational expression. Now, students tend to do lots of mistakes in this type of question. So, I want to uh, go slowly over this question, though this is a simple question, but I uh, will show you where you can go wrong and what you should not be doing. Whenever you have a rational expression like this, and you have the equation is to simplify, they are asking you to write this as one fraction. So this is basically a question of fraction, if you can understand what I'm what I mean by fractions. Okay. So let me again go over fractions. Suppose you have say three co three quarters, take away say two fifth. Okay. Now to simplify fractions, you have to have the denominators or the bottom numbers equal. So this is, uh, to make the bottom numbers equal, I have to multiply this with 5 to make it 20. So I have to multiply the top with 5. And to make this 20, I have to multiply this with 4. So the top with 4. So this becomes 15 over 20 minus 8 out of 20. And then you can go 15 take away 8 out of 20 which is 7 out of 20. This is how you simplify fraction. The same logic applies even to rational expressions. No different than what we have saw what we saw here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the next step like this 2x over 3. I'm going to multiply something here and something here. I want you to think about it pause the video if you want to like if you would like to I'm putting this in a bracket because it's because I got a four minus sitting here I'm going to be extra careful because this is where most of you can go wrong I'll tell you later so I'm going to multiply this with something so to make this these three and four into a common number so the easiest way is you multiply 3 and 4, most of the cases. So this is basically the LCM. So the least common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So what it means is 3 and 4 goes in 12. So 3 goes in 12 how many times? 4. So if you multiply the bottom number with 4, you have to multiply the top with 4. And here three, 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12. So multiply the top with 3. So this becomes 8x over 12 minus, now this 3 I'm going to write like this, minus 3 bracket 5x plus 1 over 12. Now this is still here, you probably may not be doing mistake. This is, the next step is where most of you can go wrong. So the next step is this is 8x over 12 as it is. I'll put this minus out here, okay, minus multiplying with not minus 3 but with plus 3 so imagine this is my plus 3 so 3 times 5 is 15x and 3 times 3 is plus 3 okay the next step is where you should be super be careful super careful so here this minus so I can write like this is 8x I'm doing more number of steps so that you see where you go wrong over 12. Now, I would recommend that you do this step. Those who are not very confident in algebra, I would recommend you to do more number of steps so that you can go back and always check your answer. Okay, now this is the most crucial step where you open the bracket. So, yeah, this minus is you can treat this minus as negative 1. Okay, or if you want to do it. Uh, uh, without this negative one, what you should be thinking is, you got a negative sitting out, so whenever you open a bracket with minus outside the bracket, this, most of you will write minus 5x, but you will write plus 3 here, most of you will end up with writing 3, and this is wrong, this is where you can go wrong, this minus 3, this plus 3 should be minus 3, now why? because you are multiplying with negative 1. So I'll show you what it means. So minus 1 or negative 1 times 5x is minus 5x. 
and again you got a negative one so you're multiplying negative one with three which will not give you plus three but negative three so this is where you have to be super be careful or super careful over 12 okay so finally this is 8x minus 5x minus 3 over 12 yeah you can do a few more steps here so 8x minus 3x 5x is 3x minus 3 over 12 now what can you factor out here so I'm again going to do one more step so can I write 3x minus 3 times 1 over 3 times 4 okay so what can you factor out so you got a 3 sitting here and a 3 sitting here so if you factor out a 3 you'll have x minus 1 over <coughs> 3 times 4 just like that so this 3 and this 3 can be cancelled and this is your ultimate answer x minus 1 over 4 okay so if you go over the these steps slowly and try to understand what's happening and try to do more number of steps you probably would get the right answer and if you are getting this answer you need to be really pride, proud about it and you can give yourself uh, say you can color this this is your final answer see you in the next video